Green Country is home to some good eats and Fox 23 staying on top of the best places to chow down. On this Foodie Friday, we're showing you how you can experience Turkish culture at the Turkish Food and Art Festival this weekend. The Raindrop Turkish House in Broken Arrow is holding the festival tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on top of showcasing beautiful calligraphy, water marbling, and henna. The event will also have delicious Turkish food. Here to show us what they're going to be serving up is the Raindrops Executive Director, Mohammed Ali Sezer. Thank you so much for being with us. You Thanks brought so much. so much good food. I wish we had smell a vision because this smells amazing. This event is a celebration of Turkish culture. How does food help bring people together? I think uh, food has been used since ancient times for bringing people together, um, bringing communities and social connections. Uh, food is associated with love, um, care, and hospitality. And sharing, uh, sharing food with others creates um, you know, relaxed atmosphere and intimate atmosphere to just talk about our similarities and differences. And that's why the food is a great connector. And you've put on this festival before. It's always had an enormous spread as far as the food's concerned. Yes. Uh, we had some video there of showing you last year's event. Tell us what kind of dishes people can expect. Uh, tell us a little bit about each of the things that you've brought here today. So let me show you uh, what we have here uh, in the studio. These are just some samples, but there will be a lot of Turkish food, handmade Turkish food. We have baklava, Turkish baklava, pistachio baklava. We have um, lahmacun. This is Turkish flatbread um, stuffed with ground beef. Um, we have parsley, tomato, some um, lemon. Here we have doner kebab. Doner kebab is also known as gyro, um, with rice pilaf, yogurt, of course, like you know, pepper and tomato. Last but not least, um, here we have um, another dessert. So this is um, semolina cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, these are just like some samples, but we have a lot of food, a lot of dessert, coffee, tea, um, lots of like you know, kebab options. But um, more than that, hospitality, Turkish hospitality, because Turkish people are known with their hospitality. And you mentioned, uh, obviously, baklava uh, yeah. is huge. We've had uh, Greek baklava on the show before. Yeah. Tell us what the biggest differences are between Greek and Turkish baklava. Yeah, I can talk about three differences, three uh, main differences. Of course, Turkish baklava and Greek baklava, um, they have a lot, a lot of similar, uh, similarities. But um, let's let, you know, start with pastry. Turkish baklava uses um, thinner pastry versus Greek baklava um, use uh, thicker pastry. Mm -hmm. Turkish baklava um, is made with a simple syrup um, that is made from water, sugar, and lemon juice. But Greek baklava use more like honey and combination of honey and sugar. Last but not least, uh, the fillings. The fillings uh, for Turkish baklava is more ground uh, nuts or pistachio, but for Greek baklava is like you know large pieces of nuts. But as uh, I always jokingly say, Turkish baklava is better because we are making baklava with pistachio. Pistachio, you can yes. see some of the pistachio there on this as well. Uh, for folks that are, are wanting to uh, get to down there and enjoy this, uh, obviously the food's a big part, but the art's a big part as well. Right, so we will have um, art demonstrations, um, calligraphy and water marbling, Hebrew. Um, our artists will showcase the traditional Turkish art. So people will come, um, enjoy the food, but um, they also like, you know, uh, learn more about Turkish art. So. Turkish festival is a friendly event um, that offers something for everybody. Whether you are a meat lover or vegetarian, there is a dish that you will enjoy uh, 100%. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us. And uh, cannot wait to sample some of this coming up here in just a moment. Mohammed, thanks so much for being thanks with us so this much morning. To learn more about the Turkish food and the art festival this weekend, search for the Raindrop Turkish House Tulsa on Facebook.